Many of us sometimes wonder if we're being lied to or whether we're being told the truth. In some situations, it's not that important, but in others, it really matters. And one of the best known methods of finding out is using a polygraph, a much loved feature of American detective shows. We interrogate people in judicial proceedings. Our job is to identify truthful people and to confuse liars. In the past, polygraphs used ink and needles and paper, but now they're computerized. During the test, the person sits in a special chair and various body sensors are attached, which will measure breathing, both in the abdomen and the chest. And two small silver plates measure sweat production on the person's fingers. Another sensor measures the percentage of arterial hemoglobin in the oxohemoglobin configuration. In other words, blood oxygenation. And finally, another sensor measures blood pressure and cardiac rhythm throughout the test vont enregistrer la transpiration sur vos doigts. When somebody tells a lie, they put themselves in a dangerous situation. Their body feels it's dangerous. That's why adrenaline will be released into the blood. Adrenaline is a natural stimulant, and when it is released, the heart will beat faster, and there will also be more blood flowing around the body. The blood carries oxygen, which is what our muscles burn, so it creates a lot of activity inside the body. But adrenaline isn't only produced when someone lies, it's also produced when people are under stress. So to help people relax, the interrogator talks for some time with them in order to put the person at ease. Decreasing stress increases the reliability of the test. For Francis, lying is second nature. I know him very well and I know he can make anyone believe anything. So if anyone can fool a lie detector, he can. Francois is a professional actor and this is the challenge. Francois has to take a numbered card completely at random and then say no, regardless of what the examiner asks him. The examiner will see if the polygraph can detect the answer, which is a lie. Je t'en prie, choisis. Ok, c'est bon. Yes. Alors tu regardes, tu me le montres pas. Tu l'entêtes. Mets le bien sous ta main, je le vois pas. Ok, c'est bon. Et vous choisissez numéro 7. Non. Et vous choisissez numéro 10. Non. Et vous choisissez numéro 13. Now this is where he tells a lie. And the polygraph shows a change in the curve. When the examiner asks about card number five, the polygraph shows a distinctly different reaction. It successfully detected the lie. Francois did in fact pick card number five. But the test is not 100% reliable. Experts estimate that it's only 94% reliable, which is why, in most EU countries, results from a polygraph test are not admissible evidence in court.